Good morning, folks. Today we're going to do a saltwater bait. This is an 8 inch bait that we're going to be doing, and we're going to be doing something a little bit different with it. We're going to be using metallic tin and pink tourmaline. They're both in the metallic paints. So we might as well just get this party started. We're going to start with the the tin and we're going to wrap this bait and spray the tourmaline on it. So let's just get this thinned out and get going. That old paint good and thin so we can run it through our airbrushes. So what we're going to do, folks, is I'm going to paint this whole bait. It's already been primed with metallic white, but I'm going to paint this whole bait silver. Belly, head, everything on it silver. A little bit thick there. We're going to be running about 40 pounds of pressure on our gun this morning for this end of it. And it's getting better. See where we are right there. There we go. Old finger test. So we brought out the big eye. What a HPCS this morning. Oops, if I quit dripping it everywhere. Oh, my wife's fault. She didn't bring me no coffee. These are big baits, folks. Folks, let me know in the comments if you'd like to see a swim bait painted. We can paint a swim bait. They're a pretty big bait. They're about five and a half inches. They are a bass bait. We could sure paint one of those things up right quick like and in a hurry. We'll heat set this and move on to the next one. coat. I'm going to make this bait a lot darker on top than I am down on the sides of it. Got her to turn silver, didn't we? Look at that. Isn't that amazing? I think we're pretty much the silver that I want it down inside, so let's see if we can darken that top up. Right off that edge. That's looking pretty good there. I see that nice wet coat of paint on there. Well, there's our 
tin, silver, whatever you want to call it on there, folks. Uh, looking pretty good. We're going to dry that up good and uh, get ready to go to our next color, which is going to be the pink tourmaline. And uh, I think y'all be present, pleasantly surprised at what this bait comes out to be. Well, folks, we're back. We're going to move on to our next color, which is going to be the tourmaline pink, pink tourmaline, however you want to call it. It is a metallic paint. So what we're going to do is we're going to wrap this lure with this netting. And uh, this is a fairly new one too. We uh, have done one video that we use this on. It's probably not published yet, but we have. And this is a leaves a very unique pattern on it. Get some clips around here and we'll just start wrapping this bad boy up. Get everything good and tight as we're wrapping. Pick it up. I need to trim just a little bit off of that right there so I don't. Uh, where's the good scissors at, huh? See, she's throwing weapons at me. How much easier that is. The scissors that actually cut. You gotta know how to operate them too, which I don't. Alright, now we got it where we want her. So, let's uh, whip in here and start putting our clips on. We'll put quite a few clips on this one. It's a big bait. So, we'll probably put a clip about every inch down this bait. quarters of an inch somewhere in that general vicinity. We go. We got her all clipped up there, and let's uh, reach in here and put it back up on the stand, just like that, right there. And let's mix up our tourmaline and start painting it pink. Now I'm gonna go really dark on the top, and then the sides are gonna be not near as dark as the top on this one. So. Let's shake our paint good. I need not open this one yet, folks. Imagine that. See how it is. See how I am. I think my wife got this for me the other day when she was at Hobby Lobby. More than likely. Doggy, that's some pink paint right there. Woo! Pretty. Let's just jump in here and give her a good stir. That 
is some green pink 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 pink. Just a hair too thick there, folks. Don't want to drink much more, maybe a few drops. And we'll check it again. This is going to be an interesting bait here. I really like painting stuff that's off the wall and different. That's kind of what I do. Not very often you're going to see me paint anything that's traditional like everybody else is doing. So. They were running the high water HPCS. So let's get this party started. pressure there. Now you see how I'm using it at an angle like that folks? That's how I'm getting my fade down that side. Getting that little bit of pink going down that side. See there? See that bait? Beautiful. all of that tourmaline we're going to be using. So let's clean our brush out and let that set and dry. Then we'll heat set it a little bit and we'll move on to the epoxy. I'd fish it. If you'd fish it, leave me an emoji in the comments or, you know, anything. Let me know. But I'll guarantee you this old man would fish it. Awesome job, Melissa. So is everybody ready for the challenge for uh, the husband versus wife? It's coming. We are going to do it on Halloween night. That's going to be uh, our Halloween. Is to do that. I can't wait. She says I'm cheating because I already have something in my head. But uh, I don't call that cheating. I call that being prepared. Well, it's going to be fun. Uh, she argues me. Oh my God. Uh, says that she can just do hers with a paintbrush. But I say she has to use the airbrush. Look at that, folks. Tell me you wouldn't fish that. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. That is just awesome. I need a little something something right there. This doesn't get a big bill right there. No, a little, like a color, like no. yellow or something like that. Nope. It don't. Are you sure? I am sure. That is one awesome looking bait. I wish that you folks could get a close up and see how that came together. I didn't even turn that one on. I don't know why I'm showing that camera. She didn't even turn that one on. So. There it is, folks. Look at that. I'd fish that sucker in a minute. So on this bait, folks, I have chosen the pink. There. To go on this bait, and I'm only going to glitter the belly of this bait. The rest of this bait is going to be just regular epoxy. And uh, I'll show you how to put the the tongue and everything in it, the bill, and how I epoxy the bills in. So that's what the bait will look like. It'll have a single hook in the back, a treble hook in the front. We'll get to all that later. But uh, that just looks I just, awesome. I think I'm in love. 
I love tourmaline pink. Don't tell my wife I'm cheating on her with tourmaline. Find me some eyes, folks. It acts like it's facing going to just pour rain outside. I kind of doubt it, but it's acting like it. It's raining. There's eyes on it, folks. Looks pretty, 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 pretty. Okay, that's that. So let's uh make sure this is open, and ready to go. So I'll just flip it out of there a little bit epoxy over here and this bigger lure folks going to take uh, two and two on this particular bait two of the epoxy two of the hardener so let's make it happen There's two. If I quit knocking stuff over. Can't even blame it on the coffee now because it's way past the coffee time. Settle down there. It'll take it a minute once it to get that air bubble out, it'll run on down there. That's it right there. Right there where we want it to be. Okay, cool. That's an interesting paint, folks. I kind of like that. I'll get that little darker on top and then fading down the sides. That's pretty nice. Like that, we got it all mixed up. So, first thing we're going to have to do, folks, is we're going to have to put our bill in. Which, that's a pretty easy feat. I just get this on epoxy glue on this toothpick and I just reach up in that slot just like that and lay some up in there and that glue will put that bill on there good and tight so you see there's a bevel in this bill and the bevel goes to the top you just slide her in there just like that and your bill is glued in. Okay, let's go for it. Start riding the epoxy on it. That's going to be a gorgeous lure. <coughs> Excuse me, folks. Got a little bit of allergies going on today. About to get time to harvest corn around here, and all the corn is uh, pollinating really good. So I've been having some problems with my allergies. So no big deal. Okay, now that we got that there, let's go ahead and stick it back in here for a minute. 
That is gorgeous. I'm gonna get me a chain and wear that for a necklace. Some of that redneck vibe on it, you know. Yeah, so our epoxy already got too hard on this, folks. I messed around too long, so let's just mix up another half cc and a half cc. Right quick, like I'm in a hurry. It won't take us but a second. Put a little bit of that pinky glitter in there. That's pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. enough to give that belly a little bit of cover. My wife's sitting over there writing on a board and she's saying I fish that. I know she would. So there you go folks. How does that look? That looks very good. Wait till it's dry and we get a close up of it. You'll be able to see that pink and that uh, green glitter in there. Gorgeous. Beautiful bait. <laughs>